Welcome to the Literacy Circus, second grade, week 23. Today we're going to talk about plant interactions, plant and animal interactions. Many plants depend on animals for pollination. Pollination is the transfer of the pollen from one flower's anther to another flower's pistil, which forms seeds. So in this diagram, it shows how the pollen flows from this flower all the way over to this flower. Now many bees and butterflies and other insects enjoy this pollen. It tastes good to them and it nourishes them just like food does for humans. Next, we're going to talk about herbivores, animals that eat plants. Here in this picture, we see some animals and the plants that they eat. We have a beaver here which eats tree bark. He can enjoy the tasty, delicious tree bark from day to day to survive. Here we have a rabbit which eats leafy greens. So he likes to eat celery, he likes to eat lettuce, and other leafy greens, perhaps cabbage, and sometimes even spinach. Here's a, a caterpillar. He likes to eat the leaves from the host plant. And in this case, we're going to say that this sunflower is the flower that the caterpillar is going to eat from. Well, the caterpillar is going to grow into becoming a beautiful butterfly. And the butterflies, they drink the nectar from the plant and the nectar is found in this area of the plant and then birds eat the seeds that fall from the plants so remember in the last picture where the anther and the pistil have this transfer of pollination and it makes seeds well the birds eat those seeds that fall from the plants so I hope you feel smarter about plant and animal interactions. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe and have a great week. Goodbye.